Yeah, there you go. Oh, look. There you go. Fuck me. We're Fucking blind. We're... But how do we not find this shit? Oh well. That's annoying as shit. In we go. At least we'll get rid of that fucking key. That's finally. true. We've had it for fucking. We've had it for hours. We have. Oh, and this it's all burnt to shit. shit. Yeah. Right, let's start in the kitchen. Oh my One god. Cupboards in are in good nick considering it was a house fire. Sure. That's not gonna help. <laughs> Scoop the fire. Door is, Door is jammed. jammed. We might need a tool to unlock that. Oh, oh damn. Shit. Oh, we know where the fire started. Uh huh. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, oh dude, cool. if this is important. I swear to God. Dear Daniel, how have you been, my son? It's been a while since I last wrote to you. I'm getting much better now, Doctor Johnson assured me. That I'm recovering well. I'm now working full time. That looks like fun time. I'm working fun time. At the <laughs> fun <moment>. time. <laughs> the hallucinations are gone. There are just two more checkups to do, and I'll be done with the rehab. How's Mum doing? Is she still working at the restaurant? Um, I hope she spends enough time with. Was it who was that restaurant? Is that that Moon Cafe thing you're talking about? Is he talking I think about? So. Is he talking about Sophia? I mean, this wait, is... who's Daniel? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I can't Wasn't it who Andrew lived. who lived here? Who? Yeah, fuck. Who even lived at Seven Black Pine Road? I don't remember, dude. What the fuck is Daniel? We can find out who burned. Who burned? Look up. Yeah, it's the guy who burned. Um, so look up. Go to newspapers. Newspapers. Sorry. Yeah. Robert. Andrew Reed. Oh no, it's Reed. It's never mind. Andrew Reed. Andrew Reed. Andrew's the drunk. Yeah. Um, his mother and his son Daniel. Daniel, okay. So this is he's writing to his son, but we don't know who his son Daniel is. Um, no, I no, don't blame... it's Andrew's son, Daniel. Yeah, but I don't know who Daniel is. The the son of Andrew, the one who burnt here. That's it. That's well, I thought An Andrew died here. Yeah, yeah, so Andrew died here. He wrote to his son, and I remember the wife left. With the son, so oh, the wife left with the son, so probably nothing to do with the story, really. Just, just no, whatever. Yeah, okay, fine. Letter to Daniel. Oh, that's the thing we just found. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Pick um, up. Oh, what does that say? Premium rums, lovely, lovely. Of all things to survive, hi. <laughs> God, the walls are fucked, aren't they? Yeah. Alright. Uh, okay. That door's jammed. Up we go. Up we go. Oh, what? that's ritualistic. Oh, no. We're taking a picture of it. I imagine if it flashes and there's a ghost. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, what oh, was that? She is. is coming for, for us. us. Oh. He was having hallucinations. It's not supernatural. He said himself that he's having hallucinations. It's medical. Yeah. He's a bit... He's off, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to step in the middle of that. Okay, okay. okay. Coward! <laughs> Die. Oh, fuck's sake. More reading. Off you go. I hate to admit it, but Scott is a good kid. He's hardworking, takes care of me when I'm drunk, and he's a man of his word. I'm starting to like him. This is 94. This is a year before shit went down. Did I see her again? Question mark. How can that be? Why doesn't the medication work anymore? Oh, he. S I reckon he saw something, but he thought it was a hallucination, but it wasn't. It's like that picture of the woman on the roof of the hospital. Did he give me cheap pills? No, that can't be. He's as guilty as I am. We're all in it together. He cannot abandon me. They cannot abandon me. Ever since Scott asked about her, I've started to see Sophia again. Why did he have to mention her? I need more pills. I Going crazy. So he is related to Sophia somehow. Uh, unless yeah. Daniel's. I mean, uh, that, unless Daniel is Sophia's son, and it's oh, not yeah. Scott. 
No. Oh, I Lord, don't. I know I am a sinner. I realize it now. That's why I'm going crazy. I know that nothing I do will bring her back. Pray that our sins not pass down to our children. Please forgive us for what we've done. I don't know how he's related to Sophia. I just got an achievement Sof thing, Andrew Reed's story, and I don't know much about it. <laughs> yeah, open that door. Maybe Sophia. So Sophia is what's the... Oh, girls. Oh, damn. Um, one pill daily every morning of water. Dr. Johnson could have overdosed him. Could Antidepressants. Be. But then he died in a fire, so I suppose. Could have messed with his medication, so he killed himself. Drove him insane. I mean, honestly, we do know his story. I think this is basically where it ends. <laughs> like, I think he... so. I think, yeah. I think he may have seen something, thought it was a hallucination. But it wasn't. Yeah. It could have been like Vivian running, or Sophia, something like showing up somewhere she should have been. Yeah. So that door's jammed. Um, I'm gonna need a tool for that. I'll write that down just in yeah. case. But hey, at least we got the keys out the fucking way. <laughs> yeah. I think mansion now. I guess. I think mansion. Kind of Trisha's yeah. room. There's got to be a key. There's got to be. Oh. Ollie? <laughs> Zoom. Ollie? Zoom. Walk. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, gosh. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that is not a coincidence. It's a game. It might just be an Easter egg. It's part of Andrew's story. He's seeing women. He's seen her. He's seen women. It's fine. It's. I really don't think this story's seen. Oh, I didn't like that. Ollie! 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 <laughs> I, Just I like... did not see it, you know. Really? I didn't see it at all. I was like, I, until you called my name and you sounded all scared, I was like, oh, what? I, so I, I started looking properly. <laughs> I was like, sort of, I was sitting there with my hand on my chin, just sort of pondering. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, I, I looked at her and I was like, oh look, there's a woman. But then I was like, there's a woman. There's a woman, we haven't seen one person, there's a woman. Okay, okay, okay. So, mansion, and then photo lab. We, ha we have to, I know there's something in the photo lab. The dude. photo lab. Have you been to, the, wait, we can't open the photo lab, can we? No, he said Miss uh, Mrs. Patterson has the key, but we yeah, haven't Mrs. found Yeah, Mrs. Patterson has the key to the photo lab, but we haven't found that key. Maybe then, Mrs. Patterson... Yeah. Um, Let's go to the mansion. Let's go to the fucking mansion. I can go to the mansion. can't remember which way I'm going, but whatever. Uh, up here, I think. Also, um, we need to keep an eye out for the, the wardrobes, for the skull thing. But I think that's the hunting cabin. Also, hunting cabin. Also, hospital. <laughs> Get into those shit, dude. Am I going the right way or going the wrong way? That's where the hospital is. So that way. Hello. Okay. Let me check. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks, dude. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Cute, neat little trick. Like he was having you know, hallucinations. Yeah. And... Do you know what we might? We should probably try and do. We should try probably try and go back to places we haven't been to in a very long time. And the one place we haven't been to is in like since the beginning of the game is the sheriff's office. True. And the postal. And the postal. Okay. Well, let's go mansion. Yeah, yeah. Then... Go to the mansion. I say go to Trisha's room and have a good look. Paranoid now. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, okay. Why is she all in black though? <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> I don't know. It might just be an Easter egg. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's probably just an Easter egg. 
Oh, uh, Trish is really much. Ooh, Bean. Hmm. We're. I think this is. We're at the stage now where we have a lot of locked things. Mm -hmm. Um. Like, but we just need that one. We haven't seen this. Oh, we haven't, have we? Can you open it? Is it locked? Of course, or? Of course not, dude. <laughs> can I uh, open it? No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> of, course, of course you can. Have we got the map for the first floor? Oh, we do. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Master bedroom. Have we been in all of these? It's hard to say. That's so the wine what, cellar. What was that? that was the wine cellar. So, oh, I mean, maybe, be... maybe try all the rooms again so we know that we can list them off. So, like, try the library and then, like, go from there. The library should be to the right and then to the left. Oh, oh. no, to the further left. Oh, am I in the right place? Hold on. Yeah? Uh, I think so. One of these is the library. Or is this the master bedroom? Pick yeah. Uh, I, I know where it is, I know where it is. I just, I'm saying just check, well, I'm saying check all the rooms so we can list them off from the map though. Like, so if we make a checklist of the first floor and then do all the rooms. Okay. Then we know that we haven't missed one. So yeah, if we go... This right, is so library. Right, yeah, so check the map. Um, so yeah, start from the top left and work our way around sort of thing. So the study library, room, the library. Study room. Are we, do we have, it? oh, we have the books here. Oh my god, and yeah, this. Code. I think that's the chess piece though. So there's a chess piece that we need for that, if I remember correctly. So we haven't, we haven't, we can't do that yet. Are you sure? Because I, I'm pretty we sure we have four. Yeah, but they're different ones. So there's a pawn. Oh, okay. Did I open this? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then this is. The yeah, books. we've opened all that shit. We don't know about that co that that puzzle with the books yet. Okay, so we have this. So we've done that. We've done the library. Where next? Uh, family rooms. Are... Patio. We looked at the patio, haven't we? That's just outside. Yeah. Um, what about um, entrance, dining, wine? Oh, what about dining? Do you see? There's like stairs, or does that just lead to the wine cellar? Oh, what's it? What's that in? Right, sorry, what? Um, I was saying, what about the dining room? You see those stairs to the right, just below the wine cellar. Have we? Is that just the, where that door was? Yeah, that's okay. where the door is, and we can get in. And we've done the laundry room. Have we done the laundry room? I don't think so. Well, this is past the kitchen. Oh yeah, we have. It's here. Okay, if, okay, go upstairs. Then I think that's it. I think we've one hundred percent done downstairs. I mean, it's of course possible that we've missed something, but I don't think we should waste too much time scouring shit when yeah. we're awesome. sort of... I don't think we're that desperate yet. <laughs> no. Don't get me wrong, we're pretty fucking desperate. But... We are. Uh, Trisha's we'll room, I say, would do as well. Yeah. Hold on, what? Okay, this is the... the... bar? Yeah. So we came out these stairs. That's yeah. a bar. So we got Dorothy's room. room, security. Have we been to security? Yes. Yeah. That's security. Down the hall is the attic, correct. Oh, Tea room. We, wanna, we should check out the attic as well. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. We can do that. Uh, uh... I think it's the cabin, though, where that cross is. Why would Scott have the key? Yeah, it's definitely not the attic, is it? No. Why would Scott have the cross shaped key? To something in the attic in the mansion. It's that that's definitely for mm -hmm. um, the cabin. Got to be. And and that's what I'm saying. Like the only way to get into the cabin is through apparently a key that he gave to Trisha. So Trisha's got to have the key. God. Fuck. <laughs> we found the key. Oh shit, dude. Did we even read the fucking diary? Uh, yeah, we did. Oh my fucking god, go through all the pages just in case. Study room code. Did we go to the study? We did the study, yeah. Wait. I mean, I'm hoping the cabin will unlock 
nearly everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping we'll find a chess piece in there. I'm hoping we'll find a key to um, the private investigator's briefcase. Shovel, toolbox, which will unlock some jammed doors. That's the hope. That is the hope. I think so. I think it'll open. It'll answer a lot of questions. I yeah, mean, this is the main. I mean, Scott. Uh, Scott is a big part of this. He was investigating a lot of stuff. He was accused of murder, so he's probably trying to try to get himself out of that. So, and he was making a lot of people suspicious, and a lot of, and he was suspicious of a lot of people. So, God, Timber, come on, <laughs> open the door. <laughs> Oh, Here we I'm go. Just, we need at least like three keys from this place. I have plenty of so, dude. Uh, and the uh, tools. Oh, it's been oh. a long time since I've heard that sound. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right. And this looks like the place where the water would be. Oh, anything on the hook? Oh, guns. Nice. He's a hunter, so examine the phone. No. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, let's do this. An old timey music player. Gramophone, whatever they're called. Check the drawer on the there where the gramophone was. Good shot. Oh, Key! Oh, finally! It doesn't say. Oh, well, it does say. What does it say? Chest, Chest box. box. That's in the, yes. that's in the church. I think it was in the church. Yeah, absolutely. That's one thing opened. Today is Valentine's Day. I wanted to spend the day with Trisha, but Charles invited me to go hunting. I was nervous, not because it's my first time hunting, but because it's with Trisha's dad. <laughs> it turned out that I actually enjoyed being with him. I feel comfortable talking to him. I don't get it. Why would Father Matthew forbid me to be with Trisha? Is it because I'm not rich, or because I'm an orphan, or because I'm her brother? He didn't explain yes. anything to me. Maybe he doesn't love me anymore. I feel so confused. We quarrelled again today. I couldn't stand Father Matthew's preaching attitude, so I yelled back at him. I know I shouldn't have done that, but I'm so frustrated. Father Matthew said that I'm not an orphan. What does that mean? Does he know who my parents are? Um, I pressed him to keep talking, but he wouldn't tell me anything after that. I need to know more. In these past weeks, it has become more difficult for me to talk to Father Matthew. Whenever we speak, he addresses me only. He addresses only church stuff. Um, I've reached that I'm starting. Realise that I'm starting to avoid Father Matthew whenever he asks me how my day was. I don't feel like answering him. When I ask him about my past, he's always trying to change the subject. I feel so frustrated. I've moved out moved out of the church. Father Matthew did not object, although he looked a bit sad. Mr. Roberts was kind enough to let me stay at his cabin if I'm willing to work for him as an assistant gardener. That way the mansion garden can still be well ma maintained, even when Andrew cannot make it. It's been a month since Charles gave me this cabin to stay. I still don't know where to start my investigation. Andrew's been drinking... Yeah, investigation into what? I suppose who his parents are. Because oh. his, his, yeah, his, they said he wasn't adopted. But Bernard asked me to bring him home today. Whenever he's drunk, he accuses himself, saying that he's a sinner. Sometimes he would mutter names that I've never heard of. Of all the names, I think I only recognise Magdalene. I just can't remember where I heard that name before. Bernard mentioned Magdalene. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. returned from the orphanage and found out that it was Father Calvin who brought me there. The record sheet state that I was born, I, that I was from Payne's Creek. How? If I was born in Payne's Creek, there must be records of me in the hospital, but I've checked. There's none. I broke into Father Matthew's bedroom today. I shouldn't have done that, but he might have had something that could tell me about my birth parents. He didn't have anything relevant. Andrew's drunk again. This is the fifth time I had to bring him home and then cover his shift. It's getting quite annoying. As I laid him down on his bed, he muttered repeatedly, I'm so sorry, Sophia. Fuck, dude. So... It he he is her brother, like Trisha's brother. It must be. Like, they're all related in weird fucking ways. Another key. Is that got? It? Oh, did that say something on it? Oh, that's a church. It's a it's church. Got a cross on it. Was there something in the church that required a chest, a, a key? That yeah, was a door. A door. Wasn't yeah. Nice. So, oh, oh, God. so shit. Bernard is related to. So Bernard said something about Magdalene. Yeah. Well, okay, so Father Calvin... So, okay, so Charles and Sophia had a baby. I'm guessing it was Scott, right? So, Father Calvin took Scott to the orphanage. Then Father... What's his face? Matthew. Adopted Scott. Scott and Trisha were together, but they're actually siblings. Yeah. And then Vivian finds out. And that's yeah. what they were arguing about. 
Uh-huh. Got on her. <sighs> I don't know what else. I don't know who killed her. <laughs> I still I don't, don't know who killed her. I, I don't know how Bernard's related to Magda. Like, the Magda. Carpentry. Oh, hello. Is that like a hidden... Is that a hidden door? It does look like it, doesn't it? Create puzzle, puzzles, hidden doors, oh. it said on the back. Um, creates puzzles, hidden doors, and hides secrets in plain sight of Jackson. But look, we need to keep an eye out for things that look like that. He must have built something like this. Yeah, yeah. there's got to be a hidden something. Okay. Like Do there, this. like at the gun thing, for example. Check all the stuff. The knife had a dull blade. That? Yeah, but that's yeah, but it's been hunting, so. Okay. All right. That could be one of the secret things. Oh, oh a key for that. I can unlock it. All right then. Uh. Can't unlock, unlock that one though. Oh okay. no, you can. Yeah. Oh, should we try it? What's the keys I got? Church. Church. That's no, church. that's just church keys. So we've got some more stuff to unlock in the cabin. What? Is that it? We got two keys, what are you talking about? I mean, yeah, but I wanted like a bigger cabin. Yeah, there's a door there that we have. We, we need to find the key for. Yeah, alright. I think we're done here. Yeah. Let's go uh, to the church. Yep, oh, we've got lots of stuff at the church. We've got lots of stuff to do at the church. Lots and lots of stuff. Yeah. Let's go! Oh my god! I'm afraid every time I turn. <laughs> I'm keeping. Don't worry. I'm actually keeping a proper eye out now to see if. Uh... <laughs> she looks a bit like the kid from Adam's family. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. It brings a whole new light to the noises I hear in this game. Yeah. I think it. I'd be. I'm. I think it is an Easter egg, and I'm kind of annoyed. I think it's a separate East. I, I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I just, it's a bit. It's, a, it's always weird when games add supernatural shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. To the right. It's always weird. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Well, you know, I'm definitely not a fan. So I like. Don't get me wrong. I like supernatural elements. I just don't like. Oh, let's just shoehorn it in. It just seems very lazy. It's because you could. The thing is with supernatural stuff is it makes things that wouldn't normally make sense. Oh well, it's ghosts, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. I hope that I hope that it was just an Easter egg and it was just a little trick, a little little game, little funsies. We never know. I like how oh I don't know where I'm going now. Okay, here we go. Nice. Would you want to open first? Tool chest? Nah. The door? Yeah, Actually, right. hmm. yeah, no. Well, whatever one we find first, because we're both lost, so. Deal. Uh, I know it's up. That's about it. Oh, hang on. Uh, this. Oh, beautiful mm, sound. What a beautiful fucking noise that is. Close that. Okay. Uh, pick up diary. Diary. Uh, Matthew, Matthew Brooks. Brooks. Okay. Oh, we need a diary from Matthew Brooks, actually. A few months oh, have yeah. passed since I arrived here. This missionary trip is harder than I expected. There is no clean water, the food lacks nutrients, and there isn't enough medicine. We have requested help from who, but haven't received any reply yet. I feel so frustrated. What can I do? When Father Calvin first sent me here, he asked if I would be willing to stay for six months. It would be a good training for me. Guys, it's, the writing seems a bit weird to you. It would be a good training. He said, I agreed. Yeah. That was before I came. Six months have passed. I think I will extend this for another six months. The people here need as much help as they can get. I am not a doctor, but I can help them through my support and prayers. I will let Father Calvin know about my decision. Time flies. I can't believe I'll be going home tomorrow. Oh. Really? 1975 and he was going home. I will miss the people here at the same time. I can't get, can't wait to get back home and meet everyone again. Father Calvin summoned me this morning and told me that Sophia had left Payne's Creek. How can that be? The last time you wrote, she told me she had so many to share with me when I got back. 
Was she forced? Is she hiding something? I just cannot believe that Sophia left without telling me anything. Something must have happened to her that she could not tell me. It's been almost six months since Sophia left Payne's Creek. I have asked everyone around. No one seemed to know where she went. Father Calvin told me to let it go. He's right. I should not dwell on the matters of the heart. There are more what? important things in life that need that need I need to focus on. Okay, if Sophia and I are meant to meet again, God will let me know. It's time I move on with my life. Is everyone in love with every fucking woman? I mean, how many dudes are there to, to each woman? You know what I mean? I know. But he says, okay, he's a father. Matters of the heart. Is he in love with Sophia? Far, yeah, there was there was talk about that. Um, Mrs. Patterson or whatever, her, she was talking about Father Matthew and Sophia yes! being his cousin. And she was saying he liked her. It looked like he seemed like he liked her a bit too much. Shit, dude. So yeah, a lot of incest going on. In, I suppose it is like a village. <laughs> it, it, it is a village. It is a village. You know, you don't know what shit they get up to in villages. Please tell me it's not another diary. Oh, but, fuck. Was this one? Again? Matthew again. Yeah. Why do people have one diary for three pages? I know. I'd always wanted to be adopted, but I guess heaven had something else in store with me. Instead of being yeah. taken in by family, I came to Payne's Creek Trinity Church. To be honest, I would prefer to have a real family of people whom I could call mum and dad. Father Calvin said God has other plans for my future, and in time I will come to realise it. The Roberts family is looking for a new maid. I told Mrs. Roberts that a relative of mine would fit the position really well. I know I shouldn't lie, but I wasn't. But I want... Oh, they're not related. Ah. Okay, but I want Sophia to be here in Payne's Creek. So Matthew's not Sophia's cousin. Correct. Father Calvin always said we have to help those who are in need. Sophia is in need, and I'm sure we will be glad to have this job. Oh. Since starting the job at the mansion, Sophia has settled in nicely. Whenever she has time off from work, we've been exploring Payne's Creek together. I have so much to show her. This is just like the orphanage days, and I'm extremely comfortable being with her. Day of Sophia's day off, we ate at the Moon Cafe again. I can't seem to get enough of this place. The food is delicious, they have so relaxing, and the coffee tastes great. Maybe it's all because of Sophia's company. Still, I love to hang out there. This is definitely one of my favourite places in Payne's Creek, followed closely by the church and the little big books. Sophia's adopted too, though. Sophia, yeah. And spent time in the orphanage with the father, maybe? So, jealous lovers are a, could be a huge part of all the murders. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's alright. Attorney. Dear Mr. Brooks, um, we have evaluated your case and we accept the request to represent your son, Scott Brooks, in court. We're in the process of drafting an appeal for his release considering the sensitivity of the situation. We urge you not to make any public statements until consulting with us. Additionally, we would like copies of any government documents related in any ways to your son. Medical records, transaction receipts, travel documents, blah blah blah. The more we have, the better we can help in your son's case. We'll be in contact within the next few days. So he got in... Oh. Oh, oh. god. They got... Okay, so donation from Robert's family. Car dealership. Church maintenance. Um, first payment fee for Scott's lawyers. Roof needed fixing. Cemetery maintenance. Why is this... Pilgrimage travelling. Why is it highlighted? Youth program finance. Why is it highlighted? I don't understand. Um, I don't know. Take a picture. Okay. That's confusing as shit. It is. Now let's go to the... Hmm. Oh, no, I came... What? Uh, his is it chest... downstairs? I think so. My... Are we in the wrong area? It's... Oh, no, it's here, it's here. It's here. Yeah, there it is. God, we need another key. Oh, oh thank wow. God, there is. Oh, I can't read that. Is, Dear Scott, I'm, si I'm, I'm Sister Rachel. Rachel, where did I hear Rachel before? Although I wasn't here when you last came, I hope you remember me. I was your nursing mother after you arrived here those years ago. I understand that you came here earlier to find out who you came, how you came to be at St. Patrick's Orphan. On 1975, July 4th, Father Calvin came to us holding a basket with you in it. He said that you'd lost your parents and there's no one to take care of you. He told us that your name was Scott. After he left, Sister Emma asked if I would be willing to take care of a baby. At first I hesitated because it was a huge responsibility, but when I saw your face so full of innocence, innocence and curiosity, I felt as if God himself had delivered you to me. I accepted the task. When you were ten, Father Matthew came to see you. He had just become the head priest of Payne's Creek Trinity Church. He visited often, 
usually at the beginning of the month. Whenever he left, he would leave an envelope containing a small sum of money. He said it was for everything you needed and that whatever was left then given to the orphan. I would be lying to say that I wasn't sad when you left the orphanage, but when Father Matthew adopted you, I believed that your life would be better in Payne's Creek than here. I clearly and I dearly hope it's so. Everything enclosed with the package used to be yours. I think you should have these. May God bless you. Okay. Sister Rachel Davies. That's just a lot of it's reading. Cool. I asked Andrew about Sophia. First he freaked out, saying that I shouldn't go around speaking that name. Then he said he had never heard that name in his life. Is he hiding something? Why would he lie about Sophia? Makes me want to know who Sophia is even more. I asked Wanda if she knew anything about Sophia. She said Sophia used to work as a maid in the mansion for a few years until she was let go. When asked why, Wanda said she didn't know. However, she thought that Sophia was a manipulative woman that would do anything to get what she wanted. And Wanda resented that. Well, yeah, Wanda hated Sophia. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I met Derek today and asked if he knew anyone by the name of Sophia. Apparently he's not on speaking terms with me. I wonder if it has anything to do with Trisha. Oh, During today's lunch break, I asked Bernard if he knew about Sophia. He was surprised that I knew that name, but proceeded to say he did not know her that well. Somehow I feel uncomfortable whenever I talk with Bernard. His cold gaze gives sh sh shivers. Sh I, was sh shivers. I met Dorothy while attending to the garden. I asked her about Sophia. She looked confused. She was curious as to where I heard that name. I told her it came from Andrew. She kindly explained that Sophia was a close friend of hers when Sophia first came to work for the Roberts family. Unfortunately, she had an affair with Charles when Vivian was hospitalised shortly after she left Payne's Creek. No one has heard of her ever since. Dorothy thinks that Sophia has probably started a new life in another place. I wonder if the affair was the reason everyone's quiet about it. Maybe. Probably not, though. Oh, baby boy. Ah. 1975. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's look at this key. Key, key to, to basement. basement. That's cabin the... could be could be the key in, um, for the door in the the cabin. Church has a basement. Oh there's a there's a basement in the church as well, yeah. Oh, I read that. Is that the same one? Yeah, it look that looks like two separate letters. Doesn't look maybe not though. No, it's That's just it, I guess. Oh it's just the envelope, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair. Okay. Oh. Alright, try the basement then. I think everything here is good. Alright. Uh, there is a basement. There it is. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so we need to. <laughs> Fuck. What about the hospital basement? Uh, that's a good shout. Uh, I don't think it, it had a. No, it was jammed, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't locked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's another key. Wasn't it? Oh no, I used it. No. Yeah, I used it, okay. Um. Fuck. I mean, I have no idea, like, I'll write down. Um. Where would. Oh, basement key. Um. Would it be the door in the cabin? Is that. <sighs> I mean, we should look at it because I don't really know anything else. Can we? Is there anything on the key if we look at it? No. No. It, the, a key to a basement is a bit. It belongs to Scott, so maybe yeah, we should go to the cabin. I think that's the best thing we can do. This is essentially a walking simulator, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I have not stopped. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, I, I don't, I can't think of any other basement it would be. The inn didn't have a basement. No, and why would he have that key in the chest? Gotta be, it's gotta be the cabin, dude. Yeah. It doesn't make sense for it to, it's weird how it wouldn't say that though. It wouldn't, it would, like, cabin basement. What about that um, key, I f uh, the door I found? Um, going down the steps from the mansion? Remember there was uh, like a little. Um, what's it called? A fucking. Uh... I don't remember that, but maybe. Well, if maybe. this doesn't work, you know it's gonna. Yeah. If this doesn't work, the only place to go would be the mansion. 
So I can't think of anywhere else. Hospital. Well, no, it's jammed. You're right. Uh, I don't know. Please work. Please work. Fuck. Please work. Hey. Oh, thank God. Oh Christ. Oh, this was note. where the. There's a note. Look, that's where the thing was. I saw this bit yeah, yeah, in the photo a note as well on the wall. Oh, behind. oh no, it's a light switch. Can it turn on though? Yeah, it can. Why? Nice. Well, I might as well fucking. <laughs> A little bit of extra light doesn't hurt anyone. No, it did not. Uh, yay. Ah, on Val- Oh, this is very close to the murder. On Valentine's Day, Trisha gave me some chocolate. I've never seen that brand before, I bet it must be expensive. I haven't finished making the music box, I'd hope that- Oh, he might have the key to the music box. Mm-hmm. A uh, Valentine's Day present, I'll just give it to her later, hopefully she can forgive me. It's been quite some time since I last talked to Father Matthew. He's always asking how I'm doing after Sunday service, but I tend to ignore him whenever possible. I know it's wrong, I need to find a way to make amends. The grass has been growing wild lately, the weeds are everywhere, and Andrew's not here. Actually, he hasn't been here for quite a while now, I wonder what happened to him, I should visit him after work tomorrow. I was about to pick Andrew up for work when I found him lying unconscious on the floor. There was an empty bottle of sleeping pills on the table, I immediately called the ambulance. According to the nurse, this is Andrew's third suicide attempt. He's glad that I saved him in time, an hour later and he could have died. I don't know why Andrew would commit suicide, what I know is that he must be lonely. It's a friend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I visited Andrew at the hospital today. He's out of ER and is recovering quite well. While I was cutting the fruits, he told me a story. Here we go. In 72, there was a maid who came to work at the mansion. Her name was Sophia. She was a hard-working young lady with great personality. She was loved by many. A few years into her job, however, she had an affair with Charles. A child was born when Vivian, find out, um, when Vivian found out. She was furious and decided to kick her out of Payne's Creek. What happened after that was a tragedy. On June 26, 1975, at 11pm, Vivian, Dr. Johnson and Andrew confronted Sophia. A fight broke out, and Sophia fell and hit her head on a nearby well. She stopped moving. Oh, damn. Dr. Johnson checked and realised she was dead. Her neck had broken. No one knew what to do. Vivian then asked Andrew to take care of the body and her baby. Andrew did what he had to do, protect Vivian. After that night, they vowed never to tell anyone about the incident. Before leaving, I asked Andrew what the baby's name was. He said it was Vincent. Um, as I left the hospital, I couldn't help but pity Andrew. He's living a confusing life. The struggle shows. I hope he can heal. I hope he can heal. Vincent. I mean, I've heard the name Vincent before. That okay? So that's Charles' son that passed away. Okay, so the hospital. Remember at the top, it had where someone had fallen. That's probably yeah. where she died. Maybe yeah. we should check out the well. I I don't remember well being there, but. You can check it out. He's a clean boy. Did he He's a very like clean that? boy. God, look at this. Look at this. That's look at that sink. Is it? Is it? Is anyway? Is it on the side of that thing? Yeah. On the other side. There ah, it is. There it is. Nice. Here we go. Close it. Open the wardrobe. Like a false back or something. What does it do? Oh god, it's not one of these again, is it? Do we have to move it? Do you have to hold the wardrobe? Look at the corners. Okay, yeah, hold the corners of the ward, check the corners. There's clearly a door here. I think, maybe. Oh my god. What about the wall next to you? Floor. Like in front of the wardrobe and stuff, has it opened something up? Should I go in there and close it, maybe? <laughs> this is funny. No. Oh, come on, man. I'm, I do you want to look it up? I'm. I'm not even. Oh, wait, wait. Boom. Oh, boom. Nice. Good job. Didn't even need to look it up then. Oh, my. Oh, God. he's he's been he's been fucking looking shit up. He's got a fucking evidence board. Oh, fuck. That's scary. Oh. Okay. It's you not scary. This is what people do. Yeah, but it's still like. It's... That is not, I don't know. Anyway. nowhere near close enough to get any information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, look everywhere else first. He wasn't a clean boy, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, look around it just in case. Anything on it? No. Why would you be able to look at it? It's been doing that here and there. Uh, okay. Okay! What was, what was he writing on the typewriter? I found out who killed my mother. Oh, Boom. shit, dude. Certainly take allergy. Seeing what others don't. Sarah Palace of the Tackle's understanding of human behavior. Sarah Kumara. Um. Robert's estate security tapes. Can't look at any. Really quick. Come on. You know, you know <laughs> what? what I thought about? Isn't it what? weird that both Sophia and Vivian had a boy? Like, I know Vivian, you know, had a miscarriage, but. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Same time. Well, not the same time. Well, really. I mean, it's two pretty women loved by quite a few men. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh... let's look at the board then. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, do we get to keep the map? Um, I don't know. Time capsule, cemetery, Andrew's house, birdhouse, Dorothy's oh. house. Yeah, done that. Sewer entrance. Sewer entrance. I don't know why the fuck we need to go to the sewers. Derek and Wanda's house. These are all and, and Bernard's house. These are all like places of interest. Most of which yeah. we've been to. Check oh, the I map. Think... Does it... I don't think we keep it. So. Yeah, but check the actual R map. Oh. Ah, okay, so annoying. it's sort of like on top. Okay, we can. Yeah, I was hoping that we'd keep it. So that's Sophia. Why was she killed? That's Trisha. Trisha. Right. So we have. Oh, okay. Wait, Dorothy. <laughs> Sorry. She loved and took care of Sophia when she was pregnant. Yeah. Killed Magdalene. Dr. Yeah, Johnson we know killed that. Magdalene. We knew that. I in Indonesia at that time. So Matthew it wasn't was in Matthew. Indonesia. Yeah. Charles' wife. Vivian is Charles's wife. He's six years Who, old. Derek. He was six years old at the time. Yeah, and then Father Calvin. He saved me. Couldn't be him. I mean, don't put, don't say that. No, I know. Oh, okay, easier. Oh, that actually helps, yeah. <laughs> Take a picture, unless we keep it. That's true. So, couldn't be her. She tried to find Sophia. So, that's a mother, yeah. okay. Charles is Scott's father, maybe. My father? So, Might yeah, incest relationship. <laughs> so, Bernard, Andrew, Wanda, Dr. Johnson. I mean, they're really, they're all sort of people of interest. Yeah. Apart from Matthew, maybe, if he was actually in Indonesia. Derek was six. Hold on. Hold on. She tried... Okay, so the mother of Charles tried to find Sophia. Dr. Johnson, who was close friends with Vivian, tried killed the mother. Yeah, we don't know why, either. Maybe because she was trying to find Sophia. That's mm, true. I don't know, dude. It's so there's a key there, by the way, on the left. Yeah. Old, old gate, gate key. key. Old gate key. Great. <laughs> what Jesus, does it mean? Loads of great. <laughs> so there's a gate. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> Check oh, the tape. Oh yeah, and the tape. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Can't watch it. That's kind of annoying. What? Can you open the drawers? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Another key. That's Pat. Here's, Here is a. That's um. No, no. That's a. Pit. That's his blanket. That's Scott's blanket. That's Scott. Yeah. And and is that Sophia? That is Sophia. Take a picture of it. A music box key. Attached. Okay. To so we need to Trisha. go back to Trisha. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. That one. I have a diary though. Yeah, a Scott's diary. I realised who I am from the moment I saw the photo. I have the exact same blanket. I know who my father is. Everything makes sense now. 
I visited Andrew today. I needed to know where they hid Mum's body. He cried and begged me not to say anything about it. There was no room for whatever questions I had left. I then told him I'm the boy he gave to Father Calvin to get rid of. He was utterly shocked. After that, I left. I could not bear to look at it for another second. I know who I am, and now I feel everything falling apart. Isn't that the day Andrew died? Was that wrong? I'm not sure what day he died. Close to Very Andrew. likely. Oh, Andrew no. came to the cabin and told me where the body was hidden. He said he was sorry and left. Externally, I was quiet. Internally, I was sputtering and livid. After he left, I came to my room and cried. The well had dried up and was covered in moss. I wouldn't have known that the well even existed if I didn't work, look, if I didn't work at the mansion. Found, finally found Mum's body. I buried her oh. in a cemetery next to Father Calvin. That's what the cross is. Oh. There was no tombstone for her, just a wooden cross. I don't think Father Calvin would mind. After all, he was one who saved. Far oh, too. Um, a month has passed. I haven't worked since and I've stopped meeting anyone. Trisha knocks on my door every day, but I would hide each time. She cries every time, begging me to come out, anxious to know why I won't see her, if she's done anything wrong. You know, you're related. Yeah. But I know we cannot be together anymore. Father Matthew visited me, visited me today. He said they hadn't seen me at church for a while and that no one has heard from me in weeks. When he asked how I was doing, I began crying. Tears just flowed down my cheeks. I cried and I cried. I just couldn't stop them. I told him everything. I told him that I know that Charles is my father. I confess that I now knew that Trisha was my half-sister. I said I didn't know what to do. He listened and didn't speak. Mm. Try uh, Don't forget the middle draw, by the way. This is... No, no, no. In the middle of the desk. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, sewers. Oh, okay. Where does it lead? Where does it lead? So we got... That the river, postal service, near postal service, Penswick Community Hospital, Old Sioux Entrance, Farmer's Market, to the Mayor's Mansion, um, Trinity Church, Residential. So this, these sewers lead all over the place, like, and a key. Oh, I I bet that's the key to the sewers. I know where it yeah, is. It's got to be, yeah. That's a pretty yeah. fucking cool secret room. 100%. All right. I'm, I'm... Man, we're, we're... I mean... It's annoying because any one of them could have killed her. A lot of them had motive. Yeah. Like jealous, jealousy, like Andrew probably could have felt betrayed by Sophia because well, he Sam loved got her. The bloody shovel. Matthew. I I'm honestly I think it's Matthew. I, I reckon he wasn't in Indonesia. I reckon that's a that's it's a you know, I reckon he, he wasn't. <laughs> Possibly. Okay. And that's well, of course he was. It depends well, how you want to take the evidence. Well, think about it. He loved Sophia. Sophia had an affair with Giles. Had yeah. Scott. So I mean, why Matthew, would he adopt Scott? Matthew went a long way for Sophia as well. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no worries. It's annoying that we don't have an updated map with the marks on it. Yeah. But yeah, we got a picture detective. of it. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, even Bernard sounding a bit suspicious. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know his relation to Magdalene, was it? Yeah, the mother, the mother as well. Yeah, mother. And Magdalene was the one who was murdered, right, by the doctor. Yeah. So, fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Why did the doctor kill Magdalene anyway? Maybe he was having she an was... affair with Vivian? Maybe the doctor was. Maybe the doctor was having an affair with Vivian and he was doing it for her. Because uh, Magdalene was um, causing issues for Vivian, wasn't she? Well, so, right. Scott was born in Pines Creek. So maybe Dr. Johnson, you know, was the one who delivered yeah. him. And he must have known. So it, I'm not going to open it, but down here. There. Yeah, that's the key. Oh, that's the sewers. That's the okay. I think right. anyway. We can try. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Right, so let's just quickly open that music box. Find out what's in that. Let's do it. What's in the box? What's in the good old box? Also, there's the other key that we have for in here somewhere. And the well, I think, is here. Oh. Oh. Ooh, there's stuff in it. Just this. Dear Tresha, as I've grown to learn about my birth parents, I feel as if a great veil has been lifted from my eyes. I now understand why Father Matthew was against us seeing each other. He was right, we shouldn't be together. 
Please believe me when I say I did not kill your mother. I've never lied to you and I never will. I don't know who killed Vivian. Hopefully the truth will come, come to light someday. There is so much I want to tell you, but I cannot at this moment. I pr pray the day when I can express everything to you will come quickly. All I can say now is that I am sorry for all the pain that I've caused you. Please forgive me. Is that it? That, that it? <laughs> yeah. What about the top of the music, the lid? Yeah, no, so I can't. It's not a postcard or anything like that. No. Okay. It's just, it's just a little tied loose ends thing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Or it's letting us know that Scott told Trisha. So Jeez. Trisha's... If Trisha wanted to find something out, maybe... Maybe she found out. You know? Just saying, but that his evidence board could be like could signify something that they were all grouped together apart from Trisha, who was her picture was alone on the right. Yeah. Also, the mansion gate key. Do you think that's a cellar or some shit? Um, no. Not me either, but I'm gonna try. No, I don't think so. The sewers might lead into the basement because there was a. Do you remember on the map of the sewers? There was a thing that said the man. It was connected to the manor. Oh, it could be. Yeah. Alright. Um I'm not sure where the old what the old gate key opens, but Oh, it could literally be that. <laughs> I, I literally just saw it all. I didn't even see this the first time, okay. No, I haven't seen it. If this is it, isn't it? How the fuck? How the fuck have you done this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what did <gasps> What? You didn't, didn't see that? No, what was it? I, it was like, all I saw was a black shadow. Like, are, you sure it wasn't just a, are you sure it wasn't just a texture loading in? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to see the footage, Tempra. <laughs> Is it possible uh, for you to look? Are you sure it wasn't just a texture loading in? I don't know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, uh, the, the reason why we need to find out is because there are two, two possible options. One, it was a texture loading in, in which case you'll calm down again because it was just a texture loading in, in. Or two, it was a fucking ghost and you're going to be freaked out even more, which is funny. Well... Uh, no, it was a ghost. Yeah, like this by the tree. <laughs> oh, she was, it... was she pointing somewhere? Uh, no, she wasn't. No, there was no arm anymore. No, but I mean, like, she was maybe facing this direction for a reason. Maybe there's a weird looking tree. Right, uh... I mean, which way she's buried? Maybe. Imagine if I look up, there's a face looking down at me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got the right tree, it's this one. It's, hello, I've been dead <laughs> for a long time now. Oh, this is the... Okay. Trail codes do not enter. Okay. This is the only thing here. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, this oh, is where her body you. is. Down you go. Fuck. <laughs> Who? What? Oh, I have to do... This is rope. Okay, I have to do it? <laughs> If someone peeks up, I swear to Christ, mate. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's a locket! Oh, it's just the bottom of a well, it's not like connecting anywhere. You know, it'll be interesting, go back up there. Oh, that's got a number on it. 0526. 0526. Right down. I was literally waiting. <laughs> okay. Do you think that's like a code for the for the um safe? For the um study No. Okay. <laughs> it'll be it'll be um Sophia's locket. So I don't know how Sophia's related to anything locked. Like <laughs> You're looking with an eye out, yes. aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't like that. I'm not into the whole supernatural aspect of this. Maybe she is here, you know what I mean? Just like, that's a weird looking thing. Um, maybe it is her spirit. Yeah, but I don't know. So, so long as it has nothing to do with finding anything out. So long as it doesn't impact the story or gameplay whatsoever. Well, I did yell twice, <laughs> so that impacted it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
I, mean, right, I, will, I will be honest. A ghost was the last thing I was expecting when you left. <laughs> yeah. When you left that house. <laughs> Same, dude. Imagine me. Like I thought everything was chill. I'm like, oh, it's a lady. And then I looked at her a bit more. And I was like, this is a lady. I haven't seen one fucking alive person here. Yeah. I will say that's quite fucking weird. How there's like nobody here. True. To the sewer. To the sewer. I think it opens this, hopefully. If not... <laughs> not we're looking for a gate. Oh, gorgeous. Kablamo. Fucking gorgeous, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> Check the map. Oh, what? Sewer map. Oh, yeah. Okay, so right, we are. So you are. Mansions up here. So we are. So old Sirach. I'd say go straight left and head straight to the mansion. Okay. Just to see what's on the other side. It's close. It's the closest one. Ooh, is that a door? It's locked. Where does it? Does it say lo unlock anywhere on it? Hmm. The top has been sealed shut. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is going to be the we same. Don't we don't have a key, do we? Oh, we only have a locket. That's it. It's not even. I don't know if there's a key or not. What? Okay, we can open that one. Check which way this is going first. Let's so open yeah. the map. Well, yeah. But yeah, let's check it. Okay. So. We went left. So we're here on the. So you turn so right. So we're head. Yeah, I see. So we can go left again to the farmers market. Market. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is annoying, actually. Why? Well, it's just there's quite a lot. Quite a lot of places to go. Ooh, so, yeah, go okay. that. Go down that way. That's the farmers market. Farmers market. Yeah, but the doors might be open. I can't. I'm not ready for anything. <laughs> just it's all right. You'll be all right. What? Uh, where does that lead? Check the map. Uh, so that is that heads down towards oh, all the postal service. Postal service. Uh, I'd say leave that way and go forwards and check the other one. Okay. Deal. Very annoying, actually. All this. I agree. I'm just checking it, but I doubt it. <laughs> I love how you're sort of going around corners very slowly, just. So <laughs> you can, like, are you? Are your? Is your body moving as you peer around the corner? <laughs> My head is, yeah. What? Okay, good. But that, that's good. We now there's only one way that we can. Go. Yeah, but it's a long way back, mate. <laughs> it is a bit scary, but I look at my second monitor and I can see my stream. So I just look oh, at that. I see. So, it's like, I see so it's like you're not playing, it's like you're watching. Yeah, whatever I see is going to be minuscule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you might miss a key, Tempera. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm looking anyway, it's fine. No. I thought I saw something, but that's my mind. I mean, to I be honest, you could have done. <laughs> you saw that one before that I missed. True. So where are we? We are... That was... Um, Postal service? Just to... No, Silver Lake Boulevard. We want to keep going forward. Well, it's the only place we can go. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to, trying to get my bearings. Okay, so... Where? <laughs> um, Left or right, I think. Probably doesn't matter. I left. Hope if it's not a dead end, we turn around. Yeah. Okay. I mean, fuck. If this doesn't do give us anything, I have no idea where to go next. I agree. We still haven't gone to the photo, all of this photo lab. I yeah. don't know. One of these has got it's got to lead somewhere. Come on. 
I'm just imagine going all the way back, mate. Fuck. Please stick with it. Go for that. But where is this? Oh, it's an exit, okay. Where are you taking me? Where the <gasps> fuck is this? This is a hospital! Oh, the hospital basement! Dude. Yes, mate. I'm not scared, you're scared. <laughs> oh, okay, we are putting that on! Try light switches. Oh, yeah. Well, no, the. Oh, yeah, the powers are. Bastards. Oh, please, don't. Please, thank God. Woo! <laughs> well, you, you weren't trying the handles, you were trying. I was just seeing if anything popped up. Okay. Oh, my God, shit. Oh, that's okay. a lot of keys. BTT? Or BH, sorry. <laughs> BT. I, was, I had Baker's. Bait. Bait. Baker's? Bacon, lettuce, tomato on my mouth. <laughs> Uh, this is Stephen oh, Moss. Um, oh Stephen my Moss. god! Okay. Why is this? Begin huh? reading. <laughs> I called Dorothy last week. She told me something interesting about Sophia. There was a puzzle that she received from Matthew when she first started work in the mansion, sort of a birthday gift for her. In that puzzle, Sophia was to visit both hers and Matthew's favorite locations. Oh my god! In each location lies a clue that Matthew had written on the wall of the building exterior. The clues, when put together, will point her to the location of her gift. I thought that was a neat idea. Oh, great. You're going to have to take a picture of this. Yeah. Um, so, Anne's court. Yeah, so, the inn, the bridge over the stream, the post office. Um, why would someone like the post office? And where can I find Matthew's favourite places? Where can you find Matthew's favourite places? Fuck knows. I received an anom anonymous message this morning. It claimed that Scott wasn't Vivian's killer. Unfortunately, that's all I got. I've had my doubts whether Scott really killed Vivian. He sure had the motive, but upon reading all his diaries and looking through his investigation notes, I can't help but think that Scott didn't kill Vivian. On the contrary, he was trying to find out who killed Vivian, and Vivian as well as what really happened to Andrew Reed and Dr. Johnson. I still don't know if this anonymous person is a man or a woman, but they've given they've helped solidify my thoughts on Scott. Mm. I received another message yesterday told me to look into Bernard, the mansion's butler. I can't help but feel that this person is trying to tell me something, but not exactly what. <coughs> the message said I will find something in the house. Bernard's house? Yeah. Today I received the key in the mail with the initials BH. Does it stand for Bernard's house? Oh, okay. Was there something in Bernard's house that was locked? I might oh, have God. written it down if I oh, did. Oh, we didn't find anything, did we, in Bernard's house? Uh, so maybe. There was... Yeah, there was a locked door that needed a key. And oh. the dartboard code, but we haven't done that yes. yet. Yes. Find the briefcase. Okay. I've searched everywhere and read all of Bernard's diary. Something just doesn't add up. Maybe it's just a hunch or simply that I'm thinking too much, but would he have really killed Vivian? There's something else about his entry that just makes me pause and wonder if he was indeed a murderer. I photographed all the pages. There's another key, don't forget that. Briefcase. Oh, nice. yes, mate. And nice. Okay, so, um, fuck. That's okay, a lot. No, that's we fine. found out a lot, actually. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, okay. Just trying uh, to think. So, Bernard's. So, we've got the briefcase key. That's basically where we go, isn't it? Yeah, I doubt there's anything. A hammer? Oh, it's a tool, dude. Jammed yeah. doors. Yes, Fine. for the. The there was a few of those. Electrical, Electrical room. room. Yeah, yes, let's turn the fucking yeah. lights on, bro. Yes. Uh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't look, look. Hover over things a bit more accurately. Try the other one. The, the, on the left. Hmm. Weird. Maybe we don't need. Oh no! There we go. Jesus. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, I'm okay. Is it all on now then? Yeah. Yay! Lights. Whew, Okay. There's nothing else in there. I feel good. That was a light for this. Yes, mate. Oh, brilliant. Um. That said, unlock. Yeah, I can't find the light from this area. You'd use a torch. Oh yeah, my bad. 
<laughs> I, I'm, an, I'm dumb. So I... Click on lock on it. There we go. Yeah. Now we can access this. We don't have to go through the sewers. Was that all it there was in the hospital? In the oh, basement, I mean? No, there was something else and then the power shut off, if you remember. Uh, I can't remember yeah. what it was. Uh. Um, oh, it was key card. The key card, yes, that was it. I said that a bit too excited me. The, the key, key card, card. yes! Uh, I can't remember what it was. Um, um, no, it wasn't there, it's got a key card reader on the wall. Just, we'll yeah. just look around. Was it medical files or something like that? It was nearby. It didn't take uh, very long. Ah, here it is. Uh, there you go. Boom. Nice. Okay. I mean... Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> it's open, it's all the matters. Yeah, read. Vivian Roberts, Dr. Henry Johnson. Dear Dr. Jeremy Hanson, I would like to thank you for your contribution to the Payne Street Community Hospital and the people of Payne Street for the last two decades. However, there have been reports regarding the mishandling of funds. Oh, because he was embezzling funds, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. There's someone nearly 100 sick has been established. Estimated missing. We have no other choice except to open an investigation. Until you, are, until you are able to explain the discrepancies between your accounting and ours, we have no choice but to spend, suspend all funding for the hospital for the time being. Yeah, so not a nice man. And he knew, um, he knew about what do you call it? Um, Vivian, like he helped Vivian, Vivian. and her, um, killing her mum. Oh yeah. And Johnson, wow. Yeah, what a lovely man. Everybody has secrets, mate. The mistress proof. Is there anything else in the room? That looks dodgy as fuck, but okay. Uh -huh. um, uh, yes. A message. Henry, I just received a letter from the NMB investigation firm regarding the use of the RRF funds. I need you to call me. That's Vivian. Henry, Might we be. really need to talk. Please call back. What's going on, Henry? Why aren't you returning my calls? This is really important. I wonder if he killed himself. Could be. Alright, uh, let's begin. Oh, oh another okay. key. 203. The inn? Wait, the inn? We opened 203, so it must be a. Oh! Oh, oh the, the cubby! The... The... Yeah. Pass it tomorrow. To Charles Roberts, I don't know if it's a joke that you sent me the threat letter, but if you knew about the well, then you must have found out the truth. Just so you know, your wife was the one behind all of it. If you Ooh. have any grudge, it's with her, not me. I was just a witness in Sophia's death, nothing more. Fax Jeez. it tomorrow. Okay. I know what you did. Meet me by the well at midnight. You know which one. Come alone. Ah, <laughs> that might not have been Charles who sent it. That could have been Scott. Yeah, it could be. Something else. Alright, so we've got a key to two or three, so we have to go back to the inn. Was, are you sure that's for the inn? I mean, it might be. I don't, can't think of anywhere else it would be. Exactly, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anything. Hold on, Hunter, come here. I don't think so. <sighs> I don't think so either. Um, we've got quite a few places to go, actually. We've yeah. got the briefcase key as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so inn. I say yeah, in in either way in. Yeah, it might go anywhere. Are you? Eh, it's all outside, isn't it? You lead me now, eventually. We need to find the shovel as well, so we can dig up the time capsule. True. Oh, I mean, I mean, we have found oh. out. Oh, fuck oh. off! Are you kidding? <laughs> we have found out a lot. But like, no closer to finding out who'd done it. So many suspects. Yeah. Well, no, we've eliminated a lot of people, I guess. Um. Uh, maybe. We knew Scott didn't do it. Oh uh, um, yeah. I mean, Scott's the only one I'm sure of who didn't do it. True. Maybe Trisha. Bernard's suspicious, but I don't think so. 
I think, or maybe he, uh, I mean, Charles as well. I don't think, I don't think Charles did it. How about Trisha, dude? <laughs> it could be, it could be more than one murder as well. It might not just be like one person did all of it. It could be a huge conspiracy between a few people. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they hid Sophia's body. Vivian, Dr. Roberts, and um, Andrew. Hmm. Okay, so in. In. Eeny, eeny, eeny. Eeny, eeny, eeny. Uh, Discord's screen share quality is just dropped about to about 24p, but that's fine. Hopefully it fixes soon. <laughs> It's, not. It's, like, it's, it's a mosaic, <laughs> currently. <laughs> Tell me. I can restart it, though. Yeah, there we go. Alright, to the cubby. The cubby. Two, three, two, three. Two, three. What? Yeah. Honestly, three <laughs> in the hospital's office is probably a locker in the hospital. Let's oh my god! That's okay. We'll go. We'll go. Go back another time. All right. All right. Um. Ah. <laughs> I was gonna yeah. try. Do we have any but, keys? Um... Well, I don't. I don't. I can't remember how many keys we got. I just. Well, I can't remember either. Let's go to the briefcase. Bit. Oh, no. Um. There you go. Oh yeah, and we need to go back to Bernard's room. But we've got the picture of the thing now. Oh. Right, there we go. Do where? No. Is that 18? I think that's 18. Oh, fuck knows what it is. Charles safe in the gallery. Is Vincent's birthday? The code for Charles is safe. In the gallery is Vincent's birthday. Vincent's the woman birthday. picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gallery. Yeah, the painting <gasps> safe. And yeah. oh, remember the first um, code for the sheriff? Oh, office? seven, so seven, four, one. Oh, fuck! There's so much stuff to do now. I know. Uh, Andrew Reed, third degree burns, pneumothorax. I guess that means an in inhalation of whatever. Yeah. White you know, man with with burns found at home. Parents to the scene. Found across body. Could be sh Hard of the fair across the front line. Reads punch oh. a an object similar to a switchblade or small knife. Small knife, yeah. Bernard, so had a, Bernard, Bernard had a knife in his room. And, um, yeah, and, um, Tyler, Derek. Mm -hmm. That's odd, isn't it? Hmm. So everybody killed everybody. Everybody <laughs> killed everybody, it seems, yeah. Okay, fuck. Well, which one do you want to do first? Um,. We can go to Bernard's house. We can go to the sheriff's office. Let's go to the sheriff's, sheriff's office. office. Yeah, we haven't yeah. been for a while, and it's the only thing left in the sheriff's office. Yeah. So it's annoying that we didn't check that fucking hospital. We didn't think about the hospital locker sooner. True. But it might not be. I mean, it may. Be, I don't know. Well, um, I'll check the map for the hospital. If there's a two or three. Oh, uh, hospital. Yeah, patient room two or three. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll, well we can go to the sheriff, then back to the hospital. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to call it when I get to the sheriff office there. Yeah, alright. Uh, where am I? In? Yeah, postal service. It should be, f you should be able to see straight down. Yeah, postal service. And I get who done it, buddy, who done it? Oh wait, no, hospital. No, it's not postal office. You're going. Yeah, it's um. Down. It's the other way. It's this way. Uh. Okay. Yeah. But I like. It's gotten interesting. I think tomorrow we'll finish it. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. We can't be far from the end now. Like. We've been into every possible fucking building so far, haven't we? Yeah. Let's actually let's open those. <laughs> I'm interested. Oh, sure not. Seven seven four one. I remember yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
you realise it's going to be a load of reading. Uh, you're the one doing it, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, classified. Classified. Okay. Oh, fuck me. To Sheriff Howard. This is by Sean M. Smith, whoever the fuck that is. The crack in Vivian Roberts' skull... Oh, it's a top dude. Skull shows that the weapon used is an object with he the heavy and sharp... Is used is an object with the heavy and sharp end. Something <gasps> like an axe. Bernard's house. Bernard's house, but, I mean, it was smashed. Why would Bernard smash it True. if he was taking it from his own place? True. To cause a crack that big, the attacker must be rather strong. I'm assuming it's either a man or a strong woman who is experienced... But this is Vivian Roberts. Okay, so Vivian Roberts. So it's a bloke or a strong woman who's experienced in the use of a weapon. I mean, it's leading towards Bernard, but as once again, why would he break his own cabinet? The victim yeah. must have been facing the attacker because of the lacerations found on the front of her top torso, as well as the backside of both forearms, showing that she tried to block the attacks by holding up her arms. The fatal strike landed on the right side of the victim's head, just above her right eyebrows. This clarifies the following. That the victim was fe facing the killer, that the killer is strong enough to land such a clean but deadly blow, and that the killer is left-handed. Bernard, oh. left-handed. Told you it'd fucking come in handy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Since the murder weapon was never recovered and confirmed, my assumption of it being an axe still remains. Since this is me doing you a solid, do not under any circumstances leak this information or I'll be in big trouble. The guys here in Grand City don't want any more than necessary. Um, anyone more than necessary to know about these details. Hope the above information helps. Bernard! I mean, but why did he break it? His own shit. Well, maybe he was in a rush. True. Uh, let's. I'm going to go out and then go into Pines Creek and then leave it there. But holy Bernard, shit, dude. Uh, right, so Bernard killed... Bernard's related to Magdalene, possibly, I can't get, I don't know how old, I think Bernard's quite old, maybe it was a, fuck. This is a problem of not knowing the age of any of these people. Yeah. Because if Bernard was in, like, liked Magdalene, and he found out that Vivian and Dr. Roberts killed Magdalene, then that's motive. Doesn't it, I mean, Sophia was killed by accident at the well by Vivian and Andrew and shit but Bernard yeah. found out about you know thing and killed oh. <sighs> what if Vivian it's and... making us believe it's Bernard but it wasn't Bernard and That's maybe somebody mean. else was left handed but the other thing is as well is how close to the end of this game are we like maybe that maybe it is just Bernard maybe hmm. maybe was... it's it's Bernard was Bernard here somewhere I don't know. I think so. No. Bernard was not there. No Bernard. Which is odd. It is very odd. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to two or three. Now that I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do feel that Bernard did it, but I feel like there's more to the story, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, entrance. First floor. Entrance was eight. So it's second floor you need to go to. Okay. Deep. Those stairs are behind you, aren't they? What? Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. Oh, shit. Hold that. Good jib. Uh, two eight. Two six, two seven, two five, four three. Boom. There we go. That's annoying though. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, Not maybe toilets are weird. I mean. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just people don't want us wasting time more than we are. <laughs> yeah. So who was in two or three? I can't Sorry, remember. Who was? I can't remember who was in two or three. <gasps> Dude, Scott, Scott Brooks' body found by jogger with multiple stab wounds. I think that's a chimney, by the way. That's not a person with multiple stab wounds to the heart. <laughs> you saw that? Oh. There's a man, There's a giant on that roof. <laughs> <laughs> Police unsure. So Scott Brooks 
body found by Jogger with multiple stab wounds. So who the fuck killed Scott? Oh. Oh. Scott Brooks, the murder suspect who was killed yesterday, his body was found on the roadside along Maypool Drive. At around 6.50am, a jogger happened to see a body lying motionless on the side of the road behind the bush while doing this morning run. He stopped to check if the person needed help, but he noticed that the body was covered in blood. Police arrived, uh, pronounced dead, blah, blah, blah. The time of death between 1am and 3am. Yeah. I feel like if we were better investigators, that would mean something. One a.m. to three a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, it does. I mean, if oh, another fucking key. Looks like a room, room key. key. Room key. What well, is this? Dorothy oh. Addison. Yeah. So this is Dorothy's room. Yeah. Yesterday, on hearing that Scott was apprehended for the murder of her mother, Trisha collapsed. The hospital called this morning to inform us that it was just a nervous breakdown. However, they've suggested that she should stay there for another few days. Charles is asking me to stay by her side. It rained today. Trisha has always hated the rain. She stayed in bed, tucked under the blanket nearly the entire day. Here and there, she muttered Scott's name out loud. She's cried herself to sleep a few times. It pains me to see her like. Sorry. So all these diary entries are, are when all the shit went down, really. Yeah. Charles visits Trisha almost every day today. Every day. Today, he was quieter than usual. All of a sudden, he told me that Vivian had been seeing another man. Apparently a banker. For more than a year. Okay. He asked me if Vivian ever talked to me about it. I said I don't know anything, but was sure that Vivian would never have done such a thing. Then I realised that Trisha was awake. I mean, there was a bank statement with shit that was underlined, wasn't there? I wonder True. if that's somehow. I'm not sure if she heard our conversation. 